All right, all right. Welcome to Traders Stop. And uh, let's get started. Okay, we'll just wait uh, for some minutes uh, before we start our show. Okay, for those uh, who are first time here, uh, I'm Ming Hon and uh, I'm your host for Traders Talk. And uh, this is the show where you will learn how to trade the stock market. Yeah, so if you are a person who wants to uh, start to learn how to trade, uh, or you, if you are a person who have already started to uh, trade and want to become better, or even if you are a seasoned uh, trader, this is a show for you. Yeah. So uh, we'll cover uh, some topics today. Of course, uh, the first thing we'll start is uh, to talk about the market. And then uh, we will actually move to uh, something uh, a bit uh, more exciting today, yeah? which is uh, basically uh, about uh, what we should do and uh, basically what has actually happened uh, over the past uh, week and how should we uh, plan our trades going forward for this week and next week. Yeah. All right. So uh, great. Uh, for, so for those uh, who have uh, uh, came on board, uh, welcome, welcome to Traders Talk. And uh, please uh, don't forget to share and like so that more people will actually uh, be able to see this. Okay. So today we'll talk about uh, the green light, right? I mean, uh, basically, if you look at the market, uh, what has happened over the last week is a uh, <laughs> very bad uh, very bad uh, red days, uh, red days uh, because uh, of the uh, Omicron uh, virus, right? Omicron virus, uh, the market uh, was uh, a bit uh, scared and uh, a lot of uh, sell off happened in the past week, in the past week. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, something different yesterday. <laughs> the, the, the market has actually all turned green. Yeah. Just within a short span of uh, a week. Just within a short span of a week, uh, that's why, like I said earlier, um, when 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 things are bad, it can become very bad, <laughs> yeah. And uh, when things are good, it can actually turn good very fast. So whether it is actually uh, all green day going forward, uh, it 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 all of course uh, depends uh, on on certain factors, which I will also uh, uh, mention or discuss uh, today, yeah. Okay, so this is actually the uh, uh, S&P 500, right? This is actually the weekly chart, like, yeah? So if you just see over the past uh, year, I think it is over a year, right? So there has actually been many dips, many dips. Uh, and of course, each of the dip, I would say uh, the range is on average about 5%, 5% uh, retracement. Uh, the same for the current one, which is also around 5 over percent. Yeah, of course, uh, we thought uh, if if the Omicron virus uh, become a, a deadly virus, which of course up till now um, the the information which came out is of course uh, it might not be as deadly as they thought, <laughs> even though it is actually having thirty mutations, right? So the the uh, information, of course, from the scientists and all these uh, 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 people say that okay, it it might be a bit easier to contagious like i mean contagious to spread uh but of course uh uh the the uh it is not as harmful as they thought like, as compared to the delta variant so there's no official uh information on this yet it is all uh still based on uh what the people uh monitor so far uh no medical confirmation from who or any any of the formal organizations but of course the market actually take this uh, quite positively uh and uh, because of that uh yesterday itself uh, you can actually see that uh all the uh, major markets are uh, s&p nasdaq uh, the dow the russell uh, all of the markets actually uh rallied yesterday yeah so this is uh, the s&p and of course uh, if you look at the Nasdaq also went up about 130 points yesterday. Yeah. And of course, uh, if you look at the um, futures, uh, I mean, market has not opened yet. So on the futures side, uh, the uh, S&P futures is now plus 59 points. Yeah, plus 59 points. 
Uh, Nasdaq futures is even much higher. See? Nasdaq future is uh, plus 270 <laughs> over points. Yeah. So that, that is actually a really positive uh, 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 sentiment on the market. La. Even on the Hang Seng Index, right? Uh, uh, this morning, I think it closed about, uh, uh, let me check. Hang Seng Index actually was up about uh, 2.7 percent yeah so about 600 over points so for for a long time i mean uh hang seng uh is is like a sleeping dragon right <laughs> it, it is it is still uh going down going down going down uh and of course uh today itself it has actually uh shot up by more than two percent which is something uh which we did not see for quite some time la. yeah and of course uh the china stocks yesterday also you see that uh the so-called worst performing, uh, worst performing uh, China stock, right? The the uh, Baba, right? Yeah. So Baba also started to awaken, yeah. Uh, and uh, yesterday itself, uh, Baba went up by more than ten points, yeah. Uh, again, something which we have not seen uh, for a long time. And for those who have been holding on to Baba, <laughs> it is a it is a great sight to see a, a green day, yeah, a green day. Yeah. And of course, uh, for those who have not uh, um, entered into any of these positions, uh, of course, uh, this is also an opportunity uh, if it actually turns uh, uh, from a retracement turns up, right? Then this is actually also a good opportunity for you to add on to uh, many of the positions which has actually uh, came down in price. Yeah. Okay, let me see this. Okay. Yeah, so so again, uh, where are we now? Uh, are we good to go? Are we good to go? Uh, that means um, are we uh, good to enter the market? Uh, and uh, what what should we do? Yeah. And and these are some of the things which has actually um, uh, caused the market uh, earlier to be a bit rocky. La. Yeah, a bit rocky. Of course, uh, the biggest one earliest was actually the uh, Omicron virus, right? And that actually led to a lot of uh, sell-off of uh, uh, the travel stocks, the travel stocks. Uh, and then uh, last week, we actually spoke about that, right? Uh, we spoke about the travel stocks. We spoke about the um, uh, vaccine stocks, yeah? like Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson. Uh, and of course, uh, in less than a week we have to actually go the other way already yeah <laughs> remember last week i was actually talking about uh uh these these uh stocks right okay on uh, pfizer moderna biontech and johnson and johnson uh last week all these stocks were actually going up uh and of course uh what i said was uh uh based on the based on the trends right based on the price trends uh, we instead of trading the, the price up, like, instead of trading the price up, wait for the reversal for it to actually come down. Yeah. The same like uh what has happened during July when the Delta uh virus came, right? All these uh uh vaccine stocks, right? Vaccine stocks has actually uh gone up, gone up. And of course, uh, after a while it has actually uh came down uh once people are uh, uh how to say they know what to do like, i mean with the to handle the delta virus and all so again uh omicron would not be anything different at the end of the day however bad it is uh the the scientists or the doctors will need to actually find a solution otherwise all of us will die <laughs> agree yeah so all of us uh will will will, will cannot 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 die like, i mean uh, either they create the new vaccine or, or they, they, they ask us to take booster jabs or they find some way to actually uh, counter this um, Omicron virus. So as um, the results, like, basically the thing came in faster than we thought. Like, I mean, basically the positive news came in faster than we thought, only within a week. So the same time, like last time also was also a week. Uh, now it's also a week. It was also a week. Uh, it started, I think, uh, the previous friday right previous not last week but the the previous friday uh after the thanksgiving holiday right then it came a full week of uh up and down down more than the up la. and and now it is actually turning 
Uh, yesterday, Pfizer came down about 5%. Moderna came down about 13%. Yeah. Uh, BioNTech uh, came down about 18%. Uh, the only positive one was Johnson & Johnson. Because Johnson & Johnson, as I said earlier, right, uh, it is actually uh, uh, having also the consumer business, right? Uh, and even when all these other uh, vaccine stocks were going up uh, last week, Johnson & Johnson was also not moving much. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it was actually coming down. <laughs> yeah. So, so now with the turn, of course, uh, that would be good for the consumer business of Johnson & Johnson. As a result, I think yesterday, uh, it also went up about uh, three over dollars, three over dollars, yeah, which is about three over percent. Uh, yeah. So Johnson & Johnson. And uh, on the travel stocks, of course, all the travel stocks went up, uh, yeah. Delta Airlines went up 6%, uh, Disney went up 2.8%, uh, Hilton also went up slightly, Merit also went up, yeah. So so those which actually came down went up, those which actually went up come down, yeah. And of course, on top of this, all the other stocks, right, all the other stocks uh, has also uh, gone up. I mean, uh, whichever came down, like, I mean, things like Facebook, uh, what else came down? A lot of, uh, I mean, most of it are Microsoft, uh, Amazon, Google, all were coming down last week, right? And uh, of course, uh, yesterday, all of it were green. And in fact, if you look at the uh, pre-market prices today, right? Let me just, just just show you how many greens and how positive the market is. Uh. Of course, this is pre-market and when market opens, uh, uh, anything can happen. Uh, but just, just to be happy about it. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you can see here, uh, JD, we, uh, pre market up four dollars yesterday, it went down to 70. Uh, and then uh, SE went pre market up nine dollars, uh, Twitter up one dollar, Mastercard up four dollars. Uh, then uh, what else? Uh, Campbell up 24 cents. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Baba up six dollars <laughs> yesterday, 10 now six, right. And then uh, uh, Boeing up three dollars, uh, Coca Cola up sixteen cents, Nike up one dollar, three uh, M up one sixty, Visa up two twenty, Google up forty three dollars, uh, Yum up two dollars, Qualcomm up three dollars, Apple up two dollars, Caterpillar up three dollars. I mean, I can go on uh, <laughs> It's all green uh, Okay, it's all green uh, I hardly see any uh, of the stocks uh, in red today. Maybe Pfizer. <laughs> let, let, let's 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 check Pfizer. Okay, uh, uh, Pfizer is only up seventeen cents lah. Yeah, uh, Moderna. Moderna yesterday went down a lot lah. So today recovery time lah. Yeah. So that is actually uh, how the uh, market position is, uh, and of course uh, for those people uh, who have actually. Um, I mean, when the market is down, I, I think if you're comfortable with the certain valuation of the stocks, right, then of course, uh, if you are doing a long-term investments, then you can already enter partial position. Uh, just buy on the dip sum first. Yeah, of course, uh, if if it is more confirmed, uh, then of course, you would have probably missed it or you can buy at a higher price if you still want. Uh, and of course, if it continue to come down, then uh, you can uh, put in uh, additional positions uh, if you are confident of the rebounds yeah of course uh wait, what happened of course if you are doing uh on strong stocks right uh it it, it is actually uh okay to 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 just buy uh when there is actually retracement to certain support levels uh, so it's actually okay but of course uh if you are trading then of course you need to actually apply a different kind of uh, strategy just in case uh uh, when you actually go in, say, a bullish trade, right, it does not go immediately. Uh, it may continue to go down a while. Then, of course, uh, it will uh, cause your trade to become uh, negative quite quick. Yeah. So, again, as traders, uh, we also look at what kind of uh, positions which we want to do to, to, to actually take opportunity. Uh, and, and, of course, uh, for for me personally, of course, uh, because earlier uh, some of the positions which, uh, um, how to say, uh, in in ICU, uh, <laughs> yeah, that means I need to actually um, uh, heal some of my positions because of the uh, market 
market drop, right? So there were actually a lot of uh, repairs and uh, uh, which I have actually done on the trades uh, to roll my trades to extend the time to allow the uh, counters to actually heal. Uh, yeah? um, I mean, cut, cut position wise, uh, of course, um, I mean, the trades are uh, mostly are actually entered on uh, strong stocks. Uh, then uh, healing is okay for me. Like, I mean, of, of course, uh, if you can see temporary, there is actually a drawdown on the uh, I mean, loss. Like, you actually take some loss. Uh, and of course, like yesterday, we see the the portfolio actually went back up uh, by quite a lot. Yeah, And of course, if today the position is still uh, green on the market, then the recovery will be actually quite fast. The same situation actually happened in, in, in my portfolio somewhere in the September decline, right? Uh, uh, where the drawdown, that means the, the losses was actually quite bad uh, during the September drawdown. But of course, uh, once the September, October retracement was over, right? A lot of the positions also uh, went back uh, went back up. So the situation is again the same. So it really tests uh, the market really tests your 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 mental. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Again, trading is a lot on a lot more on mental, right? And and of course, uh, for 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 those uh, people who who don't have that strong mental, right? They would probably have already cut the position. Only seeing after a week, uh, a lot of the uh, things actually uh, went back up, recovered, uh, Basically, recovered. Hopefully, it will continue uh for the next week all the way up till year end and uh in for the santa cross rally right like everybody wanted okay yeah so so i actually wanted to cover uh today right um what is this uh today i actually wanted to cover under hundred dollars it cheap it's <laughs> okay what is this under hundred dollar cheap it's uh, and of course, uh, um, a lot of stocks are very expensive. Uh, and of course, during uncertain time, if we actually go into uh, trades of stocks, expensive stocks, let's say, for example, you go into Microsoft or Facebook and all these kind of things, right? Uh, which, which is uh, $200, $300 or $400, right? If you do any, say, call directional trades, and if, if it don't go your way, yeah. Then of course, uh, the the uh, losses, uh, which will be actually quite painful, uh, Yeah. Uh, if you if you do that, then of course, uh, if you actually still want to profit from um, this up this so called reversal, which not certain yet, uh, It's not certain yet. I mean, the next thing somebody will come and say that uh, uh, actually Omicron is very deadly. The market will again drop down. Yeah. So of course, uh, based on such kind of situation, if you are still 50-50, uh, uh, you can actually do uh, some trades on this cheap eats, uh, <laughs> stocks which are below $100. And how do you actually trade them? Yeah. And, and again, of course, if you, if, you, if you had positions, say like, for example, what, what positions was hit very bad? Uh, say PayPal. Uh. <laughs> If you were in PayPal and then uh, uh, it actually dropped from two hundred and sixty dollars to now I don't know also hundred over dollars right one hundred and seventy or one hundred eighty dollars yeah so of course if you are in that kind of positions and and if you say you bought a call or or even yeah a call I uh, say you bought a call that would actually be quite painful <laughs> yeah and imagine if you were holding the call all the way from uh, a long a long term call uh, yeah. If you're holding all the way uh six months ago or one year ago uh, and 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 you're holding it one year and you were thinking uh, uh next year uh three more months you actually roll it right roll it or actually uh, exit the trade right <laughs> only to see it going up to 260 or 60 dollars coming down back to about 160 170 dollars painful <laughs> very painful yeah yeah so so the, uh, of course uh if if you have that kind of feeling uh some of the traders um they actually feel scared to actually enter trades yeah uh i mean same like me when when i actually first started to trade right uh after a very painful uh trade that means you lose money like after you lose money 
then you tend to be afraid to actually pull the trigger. Pull the trigger means to enter new trades. Yeah. So, so for those who have this kind of uh, situation, uh, of course, if you don't uh, pull the trigger, you would miss the opportunities, right? Yeah. So to, to give you more confidence, uh, start on this cheap eats first. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Until, until the uh, so-called rally is uh, more uh, uh, positive, right? You can always go in again to actually uh, do on other stocks, which is actually higher price. But at least this kind of cheap eats uh, will give you uh, some small profits. And even if you lose, uh, the losses won't be won't be high. Yeah. So I will actually cover some of these stocks, Yum China, uh, Twitter, Dow, uh, XLF, and uh, one internet uh, counter, which is actually a uh, big commerce. Yeah. Uh, the more expensive one like Shopify and all, too expensive. La. Yeah, shop. Uh, we will take the cheap one. Yeah, cheap one. Yeah. Okay. Let me pull up the trade station. So far, everything uh, great. I mean, uh, how did how did y'all feel uh, last week? I mean, uh, if you can actually put on the comments uh, how you felt last week, uh, that would be uh, something the listeners can relate. Lah, whether last week was uh, very um, panicky, uh, was that uh, sell off sell off for you, or you are just waiting to enter? What, what was your feeling uh, last week when the market was actually coming down? And are you looking forward uh, to this this week? Are you looking forward to this week? Okay. So so this is actually the uh, trade station, right? If you actually, actually can see, right? Okay. So for some stocks, uh, okay. So what we are going to do is, of course, uh, uh, cheap trades. Like, I mean, basically, when you are bullish, right? When you are bullish, basically, you are directional. Okay. That means you actually want to uh, buy, uh, how to say, uh, buy the market or the stocks to actually go up, uh, to go up, right? So to be directional, you can actually do uh, two types of trades. Uh, one is, of course, buying uh, options. And of course, the other one you can also do on selling options. Yeah. So of course, uh, the the immediate benefit, uh, if the price goes up, then of course uh, that would be uh, buying options would be uh, a, a better kind of trade to actually take the immediate uh, upside. You don't need to actually wait uh, so long. When the price goes up, uh, your option value would actually go up. So we will do today uh, some uh, directional trades and. What this is, is basically very simple uh, and very cheap lah, because I'm doing cheap eats, man. okay? So it is actually uh, by doing spreads. Okay, what, what are spreads? Uh, spreads are actually uh, very simple. Uh, normally people will actually buy just a single call, right? Single call. And uh, when they do a single call, means that, let me just put here, Yum China. uh let me see okay okay if you look at young china young china is actually uh kfc right uh kfc uh and and this business is basically in uh in china right in china so of course young china price has actually gone down uh by quite a lot uh now it's actually trading at about 50 86. of course yesterday young china also went up uh by i think over a dollar plus uh, you can see this green, long green candle here right yeah uh, but of course, uh, I would say that uh, there is still a lot of uh, upside here. Like, I mean, up to sixty dollars, uh, which was the uh, previous uh, previous high here. Uh, and of course, Yum China, the stocks actually started to drop um, since its previous earnings, where it says it starts to be affected by COVID and all these kind of things. Yeah, and and it continued to drop. And uh, last week, Omicron and all came, it continued to drop. Like. And yesterday itself. Uh, you can see that there's actually a big green bar. Again, I mean, some people also um, think that, how to say it, uh, the sell down of this young China is associated to China. 
because it's China, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, all the China stocks actually came down, right? So again, uh, I would say some people don't know what this company is. That they see China means that uh, they sell, lah. Yeah, but of course, China stocks yesterday actually went up by a lot, lah. I mean, uh, Baidu went up. Uh, I think uh, Baba, of course, went up. Uh, SE, I think, also went up, lah. A lot of them went up. Only JD went down yesterday, yeah. Because JD was going up when all the others were going down, right? So yesterday it was actually all totally opposite. Okay, so again, what kind of tricks which we do is this uh, on uh, Yum China is what we call a spread, right? And how we structure spread is actually very simple. Yeah, of course, for those who know, uh, uh, can just uh, follow. And uh, of course, uh, for the benefit of those who do not know, right? Uh, then uh, just just watch uh, what I do. Yeah. And and firstly, of course, uh, when when we do a spread, right, we we actually need to uh, buy a call, right? Buy a call. And current price is actually at uh, fifty eighty six, right? Yeah. So you can actually buy a a call which is uh, uh close to this price, lah. And I if I look at this uh, what is that? This uh, option chain, right? Uh, it is actually between 50 and 52, 52, 50. La. Yeah. Of course, if you buy at 50, then uh, it will be actually more expensive. You actually need to pay uh, 310 to buy the call. If you do at 52, 50, uh, you, you, it's a, a bit cheaper. La. But I think 50 is still okay. La. I mean, if you can actually do uh, at 50, right? I mean, this is just to, I mean, this is not a trade that I, how to say, I will enter immediately. Uh, of course, I will look at the market open. What is the price? Uh, I would probably presume Yum China would 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 go up la. I mean, uh, if it go up a lot, I also won't chase it. Uh, and and this is also just for education to to just train you how to actually do uh, similar kind of trades. Uh, not any recommendation uh, from myself. Yeah. So of course, uh, uh, if you do a call at fifty, right? Then of course, uh, normally what I will see is. Uh, the period, the period is important. I mean, for how long do you actually need think that the price will actually um, reach your so-called target? And I will teach you how to actually do a target. Okay, I would say uh, we shall do a spread, right? I would actually take at least 45 to 60 days. Now. Yeah, I won't do any short shorter trades. And Yum China is actually only on monthly uh, options. So 45 days is okay for me. And for the price, right, the this figure here, right, is actually what they call an expected move. That means from Jan up to 31st January, uh, Yum China price is expected to move uh, by $4 plus minus, go up or go down. Yeah. So I look at this as an indicator la, yeah, where I actually want to put my uh, target price. So 50 is the call I buy close to the current, uh, strike, uh, current market price. And then the target was actually plus four, right? So basically, I would actually just sell a call uh, to actually turn it into a spread. That means initially, I would actually need to pay $3.10, right, to buy this call. But of course, if I buy this call at $3.10, uh, the benefit for me is that uh, if if uh, Yum China goes to $100 or $200, then the profits will be uh, quite a lot and unlimited. Like, can all go all the way up. Like. But of course, you guys know that stock price don't double or triple overnight. So again, there is actually no point for you to actually uh, just pay 310 when you do not actually expect the price to uh, go up by 10 or $20. Yeah. So in order to reduce the cost, uh, uh, what we actually do is we we set a price where we actually want to target the price uh, to be la, say up to 21st of january la, yeah and and this price we actually based on this uh what is the expected move and it's 417 right so basically i can actually put it at uh, 80 cents 80 cents so for this trade uh what i will actually get i actually need to pay 205 la, 205 right and of course 205 I pay for this uh, spread. Uh, the max profit which I will get, say I keep this up to expiry, is two hundred and ninety-five. Assuming Yum China goes uh, to fifty-five dollars, uh, I will actually get two hundred and ninety-five dollars of uh, max profit. Okay, so this is uh, how it looks like, right? 
okay this is actually the PL uh, analysis la, yeah so if the price goes uh, above 55 your profit will be kept uh, at the $295 cap because of the call you sold at uh, 55 yeah that will actually cap your profit yeah uh, and this is based on the expected move right uh, and of course uh, as time pass la, yeah your profit can actually go higher based on this uh, yellow line here yellow line here but of course on maturity you will actually uh, uh, go on this uh this uh straight line here cap at 295 but before maturity you will actually profit will actually go along this uh orange or orange line la. yeah you can actually see uh the uh uh x p and l t h e o right yeah the uh figure actually move as you go up yeah if the price shoot up very fast then of course uh the 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 profit will be uh closer to the max profit faster la, yeah but but you won't reach the max profit until expiry okay of course on the loss side uh you will actually cap your losses also to the amount which you actually paid for this uh option option but of course uh i mean if the trade goes against us we will not keep this until you get a max loss of uh 205 dollars like yeah until a certain point uh you would uh, probably uh, how to say stop loss stop loss or cut cut the trade um uh, based on what kind of um, um uh, stop stop loss uh, value which you are actually comfortable uh, at uh, yeah so this is actually the uh uh boo bull call spread like what we call a bull call spread or a vertical spread a vertical spread yeah so i mean for 205 uh you get about 295 so the risk to return is uh one one to one and a half yeah so always target around this kind of risk to return one to one to 1.5 yeah at least like, i mean if you get lower then uh it, it won't be um good it won't be a good trade for you to actually enter like, if you get anything below one to 1.5 yeah risk one to 1.5 okay so this is young china and uh, the same thing uh for this uh other one uh twitter right yeah so again twitter uh twitter have weekly expiry yeah but uh the monthly one would be actually a better better uh more liquid one and uh, of course the same kind of trades uh you actually do um but price is 44 uh then you can actually buy a call at 40 45 and then of course you look at the uh, expected move which is actually five dollars right so you can actually do at 50 50 dollars uh your call you sell your call at 50 dollars to cap your profits there and of course this you pay 170 170 and then the max profit which you have is uh 330 max profit only to expiry but again, uh, for most of these kind of trades, I would not actually keep it all the way up to expiry. Yeah, and uh, if the price move up very fast, and of course, if the market is very bullish, right, these kind of stocks tend to actually move up uh, very fast also because it comes down very fast, man. When it goes up, also it can actually goes up uh, very fast. Yeah, uh, and uh, if you look at the uh, again the what is that the uh, risk profile right is actually uh similar to the uh earlier earlier one similar similar risk profile yeah so uh upside profit is cap what happened to this upside profit is cap uh downside is also cap but of course uh, if it goes against you uh you would probably cut your position uh if if it is actually uh against against you yeah and and you will not lose a lot i mean if the price say actually goes down to about uh here how much 40.5 right Let me see this. Uh, okay it goes up to 40.5 it's probably about maybe about 100 or something yeah yeah 100 100 dollars half of it but of course uh even be half of it hundred dollars the upside is if it's quick 
quite fast is okay yeah and then uh what else okay the other one uh, if you are actually uh very confident of of this stock and if your buying power is high that means if your you if you have a bigger account size right and 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 for those people who are also familiar with uh, selling puts selling puts selling puts yeah you can also do for this trade right uh, which i also do quite a lot of this kind of trades lah, yeah where i have a, a a debit spread which is actually a bullish directional trade and on top of that right i actually want to finance this uh 170 finance this 170 and how do i finance this 170 right uh cheap it i mean i i want the cheapest possible lah. is is what i do is uh i sell a put i sell a put okay i sell a put and and of course you sell a put at the price which you are comfortable uh on this uh twitter lah. so so for example this i do at one dollar right hey, sorry uh 38 right strike 38 okay so so of course uh currently is trading at 44 uh and strike 38 is actually uh way way below way below here let me put here okay so if you look at twitter right i mean uh this is the current price uh strike 38 is still way below here yeah so if you're comfortable uh to actually um how to say if you don't mind owning twitter la, at 38 dollars right okay uh if if the price goes below you need to actually uh, uh take assignment of this stock right then you can actually uh also finance this yeah uh for the for the trade that means you collect one dollar you collect one dollar just now you was paying 170 right so here you collect one dollar so the trade you wish you actually pay is only uh, 68 cents if if uh twitter actually goes up goes up after you actually enter the trade right then of course uh it is actually a double bullish you all get to gain from this uh, uh put you should sow and at the same time this uh call spread uh, you also uh get to actually gain and your max profit uh is now about uh 432 432 earlier was about uh, 330 right so you just add 100 lah. so you actually go up to 432 yeah but the thing is that uh, your buying power has now been increased from 170 to 549 yeah and of course if you are doing a uh, cash secure this secure this uh so called naked put lah i mean i would advise you to actually cash secure it lah. basically your account needs to actually have about three thousand eight or three thousand nine hundred dollars lah yeah make sure make sure you have that uh, yeah just in case you need to pick up this stock if it goes down below right uh then uh, you would need to actually pay this to buy over uh twitter yeah but of course uh when it really goes down then there is also adjustments which you can do which i won't cover in this session yeah so for those who have actually seen my previous uh uh, traders talk right uh where where i actually cover uh this kind of trades uh, su uh super bull right you can actually refer to the uh, previous uh trader stock yeah so this is actually twitter uh and and the other stocks which we which i mentioned right uh is like uh, say xlf right okay so xlf uh, is actually the um etf for the the banking etf the banking etf and of course uh when when uh COVID is uh, so-called not, not a risk going forward if it is or Omicron is not a risk. Uh, the thing on the financial sector, right, uh, I would say all those news on tapering, on interest rate hikes and all would, would probably be, uh, what is that, uh, priced into the uh, current stock. Yeah, And of course, uh, because of the uh, sell down, because of the Omicron, right, uh uh in in all these stocks right uh of course now with that uh negative factor taken out then i would say these kind of stocks would um how to say would have a, a bit of uh, upside upside going back to the earlier price lah. because the earlier price all here right was all priced in with all the other uh tapering interest rate hike and all these kind of things and rate hike is good for for banking yeah banking rate hike is actually good for banking so i would say uh 
XLF is uh, also okay. Like, I mean, uh, you can see that it has actually gone down to this uh, 100 uh, EME already. Yeah, 100 EME, 100 EME, drop, drop here, go down. Now it's actually here again. Yeah. So XLF, you can also do similar trades, but I would say XLF, the price movement is a bit slower, a bit slower. XLF, yeah. So uh, smaller profits, but uh, but uh, would be a bit a bit uh, how to say probability can be quite high, lah. Yeah. But the profits can actually be the the the, the price movements lah, can actually be a bit slower. Yeah. So uh, don't expect uh, to actually go in to get a five dollar movement because uh, the movement is only two two dollars, two dollars. <laughs> yeah. So two dollar movement uh, price thirty uh, eight sixty one now yeah so thirty nine dollars uh, you can actually just do uh, the thirty six and let's look at the uh, what is that the max loss is uh, seventy three you pay seventy three cents for this the max profit is one twenty seven yeah so that's why I said this uh, is not going to be a uh, big but of course. Uh, we would want to enter and exit quick for this type of uh, stocks to get a small uh, profit, small profit, uh, $50, 30, 40, $50 is okay. Yeah. You, you just get a huge jump up and then you exit the trade. You don't hold uh, long on this type of uh, stocks. Yeah. I won't hold long. Lah. Yeah. So this is uh, XLF. Uh, the other one uh, which I want to do is Dow, right? So Dow is uh, now trading at about $53, right? You can see that last week, it has actually uh, came down from about uh, here, $58 all the way down to about 53 Yeah. And and what this Dow, uh, if you look at the pattern, right? I mean, I trade uh, quite a lot of uh, cash circuit puts on Dow, yeah? It, it actually uh, goes up, it trades in range, la, I mean, during this time. La. Even during this time, it also trades in range. It also trade in range for a while until it finds a uh, one one level of uh, support and of course this level is actually broken uh, yeah this range is actually broken because mainly of the uh, omicron issue so now it's actually trying to actually go up again yeah for dow yeah so again dow same type uh you can either do a, a spread uh january spread uh, earnings is on 27 january so it's actually okay uh, you can actually do a spread uh, 55 uh, and this is actually about uh, 416, right? You can actually do at, I won't do at 60, like maybe try uh, $250. That means uh, try this. Like. So 96, 96 for 154, uh, it, is, it is okay for me because the price jump for Dow, once it was down, right? It actually recovers with quite a big, uh, how to say uh, value that means yesterday it already went up by one over dollars yeah but of course this type of stock um when yesterday it went up if today it went up then you don't you don't go in uh, you wait for retracement to come wait for retracement to come and then when the retracement comes then you actually uh, can enter this trade yeah uh, don't don't chase on all those stocks including those which i've actually covered right if it goes up a lot then don't chase on it wait for a bit retracement uh, because right now of course uh when when um, everybody thinks how to say when everybody thinks it's all green right everybody will start to actually jump in but very often uh, the next day uh, something somebody will actually put up some very bad news whether it's real or fake uh, somebody will start to actually put in very some bad news uh, just to actually disturb the market a bit <laughs> and that's where where the retracement comes and again the opportunity for us to actually uh, go in is it so so need to actually be patient and, and don't scared uh, that you will actually lose out in uh, any of these uh, trades. Yeah. So again, uh, Dow uh, and the last one is actually on uh, XLF, right? Uh, no, XLF I did already. Uh, Big Commerce. Big Commerce is actually an internet uh, company. It's actually similar to Shopify. Uh, it's listed all about a year plus ago. Okay, Big Commerce, right? If you look at the price, right? Okay. Big commerce price actually tends to actually comes down and then do a recovery. You see, in the past, uh, uh, I think it was listed maybe 
end of last year or something in november or something it was listed here then it all year went up then here it came down to about 41 right 41 right then it rallied all the way up to about 72. it, it come down again it go up again it come down here it's actually about 52 and and now it's actually again coming to this level of uh, the probably the previous low like, about 41 or 42 like, yeah so again for me of course uh i mean at the end this is actually an internet stock right i mean uh how to uh doing the shop something like shopify like having a web store and all these kind of things yeah so i mean if i do this uh cash secure put uh, let's see if actually there's any opportunity big c big c big c big c uh january yeah so if you do a cash secure put at 35 right uh it's actually at uh how much 166 this 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 the bit last spread is really quite wide la, yeah uh i think you can actually do at 180 also yeah so remember to change it like just go to the mid price la. you can even put 190 la, yeah and let let the price comes to you let's say if you do it at 190 la, so what kind of returns which we get from this right so 1.9 divided by 35 right it's actually about uh 5.4 percent return la, for 45 days yeah which is uh quite good la. i mean uh 5.4 percent return even if you actually buy this stock at 35 you would actually take it at the lowest price yeah but of course uh you need to be comfortable at it la. i mean for me i'm comfortable uh for you you need to actually do your own due diligence on this company whether you are you are okay with this company holding company stock yeah because if it goes below 35 you you pick it up at uh three thousand five hundred dollars less whatever premium you collected so to do this trade uh your buying power needs to be about thousand two hundred dollars just to do a naked put naked put naked put yeah naked put and of course if you say you want to do a spread it's also okay uh you do a 45 and 50 45 50 you pay 69 69 cents with this naked put like if no no naked put uh it's actually about 110 110 but for big c i would tend to do it on a longer or uh, they don't have february is it yeah they don't have february uh options op options then march will actually be too long like. if they have february then of course uh, i would prefer to actually do a, a bull call spread on big c uh with a longer duration yeah because uh sometimes uh these stock price don't move that fast one if you look here it, it actually don't move that fast one sometimes yeah it can hang on here uh i for 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 some time and or you go up and it will come down you see you see it can it can be a bit sensitive to uh the market uh direction one yeah info yeah and you see here also it gap up i don't know if it, i think this was earnings la. yeah so big c so i've actually covered all right i mean uh yeah so all the cheap eats la. all the cheap eats all the cheap eats okay so uh no good sharon no good <laughs> everybody no good la. who is good Michael Burry very good because he is a short the 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 short king yeah and uh Andy Andy wants to see improvement yeah I think today today improvement should be should be there uh how to cut position uh what do you mean Andy how to cut position uh you mean on the uh book call spread you exit the position yeah uh that means basically if the price turns against you and uh, if you actually put a, a determine about if you the price dropped by say 20 percent uh then of course uh you just uh, cut your position exit and move on to a, another trade yeah so that's how you cut position after sell put how to exit ah okay on on you mean on naked put okay on naked put uh for me i actually do it differently okay because the the how to say when i enter into a naked put right uh firstly i have to have the mindset uh, that 
I want to own the stock. That means, let's say just now, for example, I was actually talking about Big C uh, selling a naked put at 35, right? Firstly is I enter it, I would say if the price drop to 35, I will, I will pick up the stock. That is, before I enter the trade, I have to have this mindset. You guys also have to have this mindset. Because uh, if you actually enter into a naked put uh, and if it actually goes against you and if you actually want to cut position, it will be very expensive. <laughs> because you you say, you say sell at 190, right? You collected 190 and if the price goes down, if the price goes down to say uh, current price uh, of big C was uh, 40, 43, right? 43. So if the price actually goes down to say forty dollars, okay, definitely uh, you will you will lose money. You will lose uh, say at uh, forty. Uh, what's the price? You how much you will lose? Okay, well, if the price goes down to now is uh, forty three dollars, right? If the price goes down by three dollars, lah, you would probably lose about hundred and fifty dollars. You will probably lose hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, and and. You have not lost in the position yet because for, for naked put, right? You will lose if it drops below uh, 35 on expiry. If it is at 40, you won't lose, man. If you hold on to it and on expiry, uh, it is still sits at 40, you will still collect that $190. Yeah, you still collect that full premium. That means you'll win in the trade. As long as it don't go below 35, yeah, you will, you will, how to say, you will win in the trade. Even if it goes below 35, when you enter the position uh, with a mentality that you want to own the stock at 35, right, you also win. Man. So for a cash circuit put strategy, uh, you actually enter it, whatever happens, uh, you will win in the trade. Yeah, you won't lose in the trade and we won't cut position. Okay, we won't cut position for uh we won't cut or won't exit lah. okay the only thing which we can actually do is that in the event that it goes to 35 or it goes slightly below 35 uh and and you do not want to own the stock you do not want to own the stock that means you do not want to be assigned lah. so before expiry uh, that means before expiry what you do is you roll the trade you roll the trade means that you renew the trade, you extend, that means just now we were doing in uh, February, right? i uh, sorry, uh, January, right? You extend the trade, that means you 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 roll the trade. Lah. That means you close the existing one, uh, you buy back the 35 uh, put and you sell another put at 35. You sell another put at 35. And most of the time, uh, if it is actually close to, the market price is actually close to this 35 strike, right? Uh, even if it's slightly below, you will be able to generate additional premium when you roll the trade. You will be able to generate premium. So just now you collected 190. Assuming you roll in for another month, right? Uh, you might collect 190 or you might collect $1 or 150. So in total, uh, you are holding on to the stocks. Maybe earlier your intention was only one month, the, 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 the put. Uh. Then uh, if it goes against you, uh, it dropped slightly below 35. You roll it. Then you hold it for another month, but you get paid for it. Lah. So the intention is, of course, for this uh, uh, big C to actually go up again above 35. Yeah. And, and of course, when uh, 35 is already at the all, how to say, all uh, all time low, uh, your chances of it to go back above 35 is actually high lah, for this particular stock. I mean, for other stocks, you have to actually evaluate the um what is that the uh, the price chart and the history patterns lah. so at the end uh cash circuit put if you actually know how to actually trade it uh in fact we uh our trainings are uh, the the trainings which we do uh we mainly focus to start to train traders to do cash circuit put first because once you actually know how to actually trade cash circuit puts right then of course uh uh it will actually uh, be very beneficial to you because you know how to control uh on this uh, uh uh credit 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 trades yeah on these uh, puts naked puts and you can actually use it to finance trades you can actually change it to a spread and uh and do a lot of uh, uh option structures with it and also a lot of management 
uh, trade management, uh, which you actually learn uh, uh, when you actually master this uh, uh, selling of puts. When you actually master this selling of puts, yeah. So uh, what is that, Andy? You have a means sell put go against me. I close it. I pay a premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it goes against you, you need to buy it back at a higher price. That means just now you you actually collected one ninety, right? If the price actually drops down to below the price of the, the below the market price, you should bought when you when when you traded the it lah. The 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 value will actually go up. The option value will actually go up. Like I said just now, maybe go up to three over dollars. So if you want to close the trade, you need to pay three over dollars. So the difference between one ninety which you collected and the three over dollars, right? For example, will be your loss. Yeah. Then I sell a put for long term. Okay, selling selling long term puts are uh, uh, is also a strategy. But for me, I don't do uh 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 puts long longer than one month. Normally, I would actually do longest for me is uh one to two months max max. Yeah, because when you do a long term put, right? Okay, what what will actually happen is that stock price will actually go up and go down. Okay. Maybe you do a six months, six months put. Okay, maybe you do a six months put. For example, uh, maybe during the first uh first month, it, you it is actually price going up. Second month, the price can actually go down to your strike or below your strike. Yeah, and then third month, it can actually go up again or it can continue to go down. So it's a bit difficult to actually manage for lo longer term put. Like is 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 I would rather sell on the monthly basis. Because uh, monthly basis, I can actually see uh, and, and actually gauge the stock price movements. Lah. And again, if you do it on a monthly basis, right, that means a shorter period, lah, the premium we should collect is actually more. So for example, on this, uh, uh, say, uh, Big C, you actually want to do a six months, right? Instead of doing a six months, you have the intention to do six months, but you cut it into monthly. After the first one expire, you can actually enter into another one and after the second one expire you can actually enter into another one so that will actually be better because if the price action of the stock is no longer valid for you to enter the second trade right the renewal right then you don't do it anymore you move on to another stock yeah so that's what i actually do on uh, cash secure put uh, i don't do a long-term cash secure put yeah some people do it because they don't want to manage it uh, for example, they just sell a put on uh, Microsoft, for example, yeah, long term one because they say eventually, I mean, at the end of the day, because I Microsoft price goes up, yeah, so they just don't want to manage. They just say I sell a put here and and long term it will go up. They are said they, if they're happy, they they can actually do that, yeah. But for me, because I I trade uh, regularly, right, then I don't need to actually do that type of uh, transactions. So okay, so uh, uh, any any other questions you can actually also post uh, here, and of course, uh, if if I cannot answer you uh, today, uh, then uh, you just post it on on below this uh, uh, thread on the comment box. Uh, after this show is also fine. Then uh, if I look at it, then I can I can I can actually um, answer it in the comments. Answer it in the comments. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, you can also post uh, the any questions which you have uh, on our Facebook page. Uh, then uh, I would also uh, answer any of those questions there. Like, it's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So I hope you had you guys uh, had a good session today uh, on how to actually uh, do under hundred dollar cheap eats. Yeah, by doing uh, bull call bull call spreads bull call spreads, and uh, of course if you are. A, a cheapo like me <laughs> then you can actually finance it uh, by selling another uh, naked put naked put yeah but uh, only do it if you actually understand uh, what your risks are by selling uh, naked puts yeah so that's all from me today and uh, I will catch you guys uh, next week uh, and uh, I hope to actually uh, give you uh, more contents uh, and uh, until then don't forget to train, trade, and thrive. Yeah. So all the best uh, for today and the week ahead. And uh, we hope to see all the way green until uh, year end. Yeah. For our Santa Claus rally. Yeah. 
All right, thank you. Bye bye.